all the best boxing content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and punch that bell for notifications. Ladies and gentlemen, the action continues here at the UIC Pavilion in Chicago, Illinois, for Showbox The New Generation. And it is being brought to you by Debella Entertainment and Eight Count Productions in association with Warriors Boxing Promotions. And it is sponsored by Blue Wave Group, Catch the Wave, and the Underground Clown. This bout is sanctioned by the Illinois Department of Financial and Professional Regulation. And the three judges assigned scoring on a 10-point must system will be Bulmaro Campuzano Jr., Mauro Di Fiore, and Jerry Jacobko. When the bell rings, our referee in charge will be Gerald Scott. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here we go with eight rounds in the super middleweight division. Introducing to you first, fighting to my right in the blue corner, he's wearing red with gold and green and weighed in at 167 pounds. Hailing from Accra, Ghana, his record consists of 14 wins, just one loss, with 10 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Osumanu Adama. And his opponent fighting tonight out of the red corner. He's wearing black trunks with white trim and also weighed in at 167 pounds. Undefeated, his record consists of 19 wins, no losses, one draw, with 17 of his 19 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing from the Windy City, Chicago, Illinois, Donovan. Okay, you had your instructions in the dressing room. I want a good, clean, professional fight. Protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands, touch them up. Good luck. Good luck, guys. Looking at the numbers, Adama with a very long reach for a fighter who turned pro as a junior middleweight. And th those long arms could be a key factor. He's definitely going to want to keep this fight at long range. And the rules here in Illinois, same as the first fight, the ABC rules, no three knockdown, no standing eight. Can't be saved by the bell in any round, and only the referee, in this case, Gerald Scott, can stop the fight. Ready to go here, Don George, trained by his father, Pete George talked to him moments ago. They want to have that long, strong jab in Adama's face. For Adama, you know, he's the naturally smaller guy. I think the strategy for him is fight like the smaller guy you are. Outwork George and don't wait on him. And stay off the ropes. That's a key for Adama. George is in the black, and Adama, the Ghanaian, is coming forward. Now he throws lots of punches, but he's. Look at the fight fast. Punch and get out. Don't stand around doing nothing. George again has had very soft competition. And he's the up and coming prospect. Now he's busy off that jab. A three punch combination from George as he zings Adama and backs him off. In terms of amateur experience, George won the Chicago Golden Gloves three times, but only had 22 fights. Adama fought in the Olympics in 2000, representing Ghana. Pro experience, remember, George had his career interrupted for 21 months with legal problems. Adama has not been active at all. George looking like he's sitting down on his punches pretty well. We watched some of his earlier tape. I've seen him in action where he used to bounce a lot more. So it looks like he's driving home those shots. Adama in the red and gold trying to get something working off the jab as he tries to slip underneath and land something to the body. Lead right hand, a little bit wild from Adama, but he's been known to do that. It looks like uh, Adama knows his way around the ring pretty good, and that might cause some problems with the, the level of competition that George has had thus far. And Adama trains in Ghana when he's there with uh, a guy who knows a little bit about boxing, huh, Steve? The professor, as you announced. The 
That doesn't make him a Zuma Nelson, does it? <laughs> There's only one. Oh, nice right hand follow up from Adama. Now, George standing around a little bit got clipped. George not working off the jab as much anymore. His hands are out. Now he's bouncing a little bit more. Now he's set up off that jab right hand. George walking in, but not punching his way in. Right hand, and then he's out. So he zips a good right hand lead in there. And Adama doubles the hook back. I think the difference in natural power is already pretty evident. You can see that George throws shorter, harder shots. Yeah, bigger guy against the smaller guy. So Adama has got to outbox him and out hustle him to win this fight. Yeah, you got to stay busy and uh, just keep that jab in range. Keep moving. He's doing a little slick move. He's dipping to the keep left up, and then hitting the punches, him to the uh, body. And I think that's confusing, uh, confusing George just a little bit. Ah, very spirited first round here. And a fairly close one, George, with the more meaningful shots, as Steve mentioned. Good combination from Adama as he tries to wing shots to the ribs of uh, George. And now he'll blast away with the combinations as he's busier down the stretch trying to steal this round. Then, Nick, when uh, Adama punches, George doesn't. A lot, a lot more movement. Keep that, keep that stiff. Long, strong jab going. So that right hand's got to go up the middle, not around him. Okay? He goes under with that hook, he opens himself up the middle. You step in with that right hand, step through the door. Keep confusing him. Keep okay. moving your hands, keep moving your head. Water. Give him a little water. Sure. Long, strong on that jab. Don't hold it so long, okay? Put it in his face. This is your fight. You got this. Use it, Donald. Okay? okay? Relax. Just relax. Keep your seat relaxed. Do good round. Okay. Right hand on top. Let's go. Okay? Hands up. Hands up. Back round two. Osamara Adama came on pretty big there down the uh, stretch in round one. How did you have that, Steve? I gave it to George, although, I, as I said, uh, George was punching harder, but when Adama punches, oh, look at this. George offers no counter punch. Now, Adama Keep is taking up. the lead big time, Adama, as he is really unleashing combinations here, and George looks like he's been taken out of his comfort zone big time. It seems that way. I mean, he's throwing his one-two, and normally with the competition that he's used to, they either fold or bend, but Adama don't look like he want to go anywhere thus far, man. I mean, he's co he come to fight tonight. He looks like he could fight all night. So George, and here George is back against the ropes. He's backing up and can't get off. Looks to me like George's going to have to land something to turn this fight around, because yeah. right now Adama's got all the momentum. Yeah, he looks rattled. Adama punching with him, punching first, not waiting on him, out hustling, out working, and winning this round big as he blasts away and hits George Flush with the right hand. And another left glance as the African is walking down the bigger man, George. It seems that George looks confused on his face. He's bewildered. Adama senses he's obviously got his man in retreat. How and long, rattled. How long can Adama maintain this kind of pace? This round isn't half over. That's a good point. Break, step out. There we go. That could play right into George's hand. Yeah, just... eventually, if he's still here. Yeah. <laughs> George trying to find his composure. He's on the jab again as he rocks Adama with a right hand. And now keep him up, Adama's keep him eating up, left hands. Yeah, he, he buckled really he buckled really good thing. He should have came back with a, a left hook. He could have turned out the lights. Hey, you know, this is early in a fight, but a real gut check situation for the unbeaten Don George. Very soft opposition, as we all talked about. And Adama has come to play in the Windy City big time. He's come to fight. It's exactly what George needs. It may turn out to be a lot more than he needs. And now they're in a little bit of a firefight. It was the, it was the left hook behind the right hand. It caught Adama flush on the chin. And it, and it almost had him out of there just now. George has kept his composure. Now he's walking forward and looking to take Adama to the ropes, perhaps. Trying to blast hup, with that hup, right hand. Hup. Hey, keep him up, keep him up. Box, let's go. Gerald Scott with another warning for Adama. Adama's getting real wild here. 
George stings him with a jab. Man, George just looks like such a touch the stronger guy. He does, and you know, since it's Kentucky Derby weekend, I'll use another horse racing term. Adama, maybe he made his move too early. Yeah, there he come down the stretch, he's gonna get caught because that round he got caught down the stretch. <laughs> A little bit. He, he, he keeps coming. Right hand. Right hand. Here's the mouthpiece. Yeah, start working that body. He's soft around that midsection. Water, please. He's starting to uh, land that right hand, but it's got to come between the gloves. Don't go around. Go through him. And then that action for round two. I was concerned that Adama would fight too defensively. Well. He didn't get that memo because look how aggressive he fought letting his hands go and he landed a lot of big right hands against George who didn't seem to know quite what to do. George didn't step inside the hole. George didn't really counter punch. All he did was back up and he eventually got hit by a lot of right hands. There's one on the butt. But all of this happened in the first 90 seconds of the round. And in the second half of the round George came back because Adama wasn't punching. Adama was punched out. You know, here's a question for both. You know, we're talking about guys with 77-inch reaches, so it's not like it looks like George is a guy who likes to fight at a distance, but somebody's got to do some work inside, it would seem. Maybe they could turn the tide. I mean, where does that come in, Antonio? Well, definitely the insight favors Don George. I just feel that uh, Adama really doesn't have an inside game. He hasn't shown it, even though he's gone to the body a few times. But I think if George can get an inside game going, it'll help him a whole lot of this fight. Yeah, I think it's been missing from his arsenal. Now he's inside, nice right hand as he drops back. Adama walks into the combination there, waits and doesn't unload. Now it's Adama just winging shots, head down and he comes in blazing and misses. George on the, on the ropes, looks high up and fling the Ghanaian away. You don't want to burn unnecessary energy yeah. wrestling with a boxer or fighter. I mean, that's unnecessary. Well, we apologize for weather here in the Windy City. A thunderstorm passed through, knocked us off the air. We're back, and we want to recap here. It's been a very spirited fight. First round was close, and second round, Adama had his moments as Don George faced a gut check situation. But George seems to have righted himself here in the third round as he's having a very good one halfway through, Steve. Exactly, and you know what? Just like in our first fight, we have a very spirited opponent against the, the, the heavily hyped prospect. These are Making great tests. Fight. Yeah. Yes, great tests. And here we see up, George and Black up. whipping a right to the body. He's against the ropes. They don't want him there. Punch out, let him go. And you're Step right, back. you can sort of see Adama getting a little bit gassed, perhaps, as he holds on. I mean, the pace has been hot. Yes, it has. They really picked it up this. But, you know, to Adama's credit, he came out, he kept the same intensity that he had success with in the round before. And now he's trying to back up George. But you're right, Antonio, and then now he's inside. He doesn't have a game there. George well, needs to do more work to the body. Yeah, they both try it there. And you're right, and Pete George, father of Don George and his trainer said go to that body and that's creating this inside game you know he should crowd him a little bit here it would seem and fight effectively inside that seems to be the missing link it also it also seems Steve, that sometimes it seems that George just takes a break it's like he's not doing any defense he's not really boxing he just goes somewhere and then he gets back in the fight it's okay the focus huh? lack of focus yeah it could be that also, just fatigue, you know, you gotta take a break. Look how fast this pace is, it's brutal. George in the black tries to land the uppercut. Rapid fire here to close out round three in Chicago. Same game plan. Relax. Come on, Donald. We got this in our hand. Okay? Lose the jab. Move your head more. Okay? Bust the right hand on top hard. Okay? Go to the body with it. Shut the body down. Okay? Shut the body down. Shut the body down. You're fighting good. Okay? Move your head. You're good, you're good, you're good. Keep going with that long, strong jab. 
Try to hit him with that right hand Try between the gloves. Moving. Between the gloves. Right he's up the slower. middle. He's slower. He's getting slower. Yeah, he's going to get it. He's going to slow down now. But after that right hand lands, I want you to hit, throw that hook. Okay? Throw that left hook after that and then move. Don't wait for the return. Antonio, can a fighter, Don George, seems to sense and see that Adama's slowing down. A fighter could obviously feel that, huh? you, you definitely can feel it. I don't feel as Adama is slowing down. I want to give credit to both corners. Uh, the trainers are giving excellent advice between rounds. I don't think Adama slowed down. It seems as if George came on late, but I don't know if it was enough to win that round, Steve. Steve, what do you think? Oh, think right hand from George yeah, there. Yeah, saw it. Biggest shot yet of the fight, I think. I, you know, in analyzing this, it's pretty simple. Whichever guy has the offensive momentum and can throw a lot of punches is effective. So it's who can make the play and keep the play. Which guy backs the other one up to win the fight? Yeah, hot pace here, and here comes Adama moving forward. George sinks against the ropes and eats a combination as he tries to shove the African off. But Adama's having none of it. He won't be tied up. And now it's the energy quotient coming in, and Adama is the guy that looks full of fight. He wants a firefight, and George may oblige. We'll see. George in black is backed off a little bit as he sinks a right to the ribs and comes back and whips a left to the body as well. It's real great action right now. Both fighters are giving as good as they are uh, receiving right now, but it's important that Odama keeps his hands up. George has a real sneaky, powerful left hook that he sometimes follow up with his right hand. Yeah, it doesn't use it enough, it seems. But easily, just approaching halfway. This is Don George, the unbeaten, definitely his toughest test. And he said it going in. He did. He, he did. knows people are skeptical of the super soft opposition. Well, he's showing a nice chin, albeit against a smaller fighter. He's never been down. And uh, Adama's been down twice in that fight against Dia Davis, he's won wrong. Yeah, the first round and came back uh, very effectively, he said, down the stretch. That's that little dip, that's that little dip move. You check it out, Steve. It's real nice. Adama's right, doing. He's dipping right, to the left and he's coming back, straight back. up with an uppercut. He hadn't missed with it all night. Well, George eats the left hand there. They want both guys want the, the guys both corners want guys moving her head more. There it is again, Antonio. Yep. Between rounds in. Ford, yeah. Ian Ford told him to go to the body, and he has consciously gone to the body this round much more than he had. He's having a big round. Uh, it's George and Black pressing forward off the jab, missing with the right. He takes a left counter in return from Adama. Adama from the outside tries an uppercut, a bad move, huh? Bad move. But Adama's outworked him this round. Absolutely. No doubt about it. Except for that one huge right hand George landed early. And you can expect George to come on strong once he hear that bell. Body shot from George there. A punch together as they close out the halfway mark of this fight. This guy's getting tired, and you're going to catch your second win. How about that? Look at him. He's tired. You're going to get your second win. What's more, man? Keep walking in behind that jab now. Ops. Keep walking in behind that jab now. He's working that body slowly but surely. He's getting broke down. The right hand's going to come. When he's close to you, don't let him escape without getting wet. Especially that right uppercut left hook when he's close to you. Four? Five. 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 Now put them together. Okay. Throw that shoulder behind that hook now, okay? okay? Don't let him off the hook. Don't let him break away without getting whacked. Okay. Unpredictable weather as always in Chicago. Uh, we got knocked off the air. We understand that thunderstorm. Uh, no control over that, but we are back here at the UIC Pavilion. Don George in black. Osamano Adama is in the, from Ghana in the Ghanaian colors. A very big fourth round for him as he outpunched George. And Don George's uh, father, Pete, said, hey, you're going to catch the second win. The other guy's going to get tired. Well, how does he know the other guy won't catch a second win? And here we see George coming on big. Psychology. You know, I like the fact that 
The senior George was very calm in the corner, and the fighters seemed very calm and poised. And you don't necessarily expect that from a guy who's knocked out almost everybody he's fought. That's a good uh, call, Steve. George has stayed very composed, and he hasn't had it all his way. Adama coming on now, trying to sink those shots to the body. He's back off, great little distance. Now he's getting wild, but a good counter punch. George has stopped, move, stopped punching, really. He's walking in, not throwing anything, tries to land a lazy hook. And Adama seems to be stealing the play a little bit in this fight. He had a big fourth round and arguably is winning this fifth. I don't know, Nick. I think George might be uh, landing the better shots this round. And remember, Adama's not coming forward anymore. Now he is, but he hasn't been this round. Yeah, I, I think George has uh, came out really nice. He's landed some hard shots, and that, that kind of left hook is a dangerous punch. I don't know. If he's going to be able to get a dumb out of here, I think he's going to be with that kind of left hook. Yeah, we haven't seen enough of it, but there it is again. And Adama's thinking twice now. And George then is taking back some of this wave of momentum. But he has stopped jabbing his way in, working off it, and Adama gets a free shot like that as a result. Yeah, you gotta stay consistent, you gotta continue to work behind your jab, and also, it, it will be in his best interest, he's gotta go to the body. Yes. I mean, the guy's taking all the head shots, but you gotta dig something down to the body, just like we saw in the fight previously that got his opponent out of there. A lot of missing in this round. Punch together, and the last guy punching is Adamo. Nice right hand he landed there. It's George tying him up. It's funny, neither guy seems to want any part of fighting on the inside. None. No, missing the part of the game. It's been a great pace, this fight, so even though we're only through five heats, uh, fatigue may start to come in as we roll down the stretch of this eighth round. And remember, George's never been past six. Absolutely, something to, something to think about. George with a smoking right hand. Oh, good right hand by Adama. And he's coming on big and closes ground here. Action from round five. Watch the training of the left hooks. And clearly, Adama's shot was wider. And it started a split second slower. And that's why George landed. And that's the left hook Antonio's been talking about. Steve, he slapped with that left hook. If, you, if, if they show that again, he slapped with the open paw. That could have been the difference. But he landed that punch. Should have landed it right on the kisser. But he didn't turn his hand over. Well, that was a quality shot. But Adama came on big down the stretch. Enough to take the round? No, okay. I gave it to George. I think he did better work the first half of the round. Enough to take the round. But it's, it's a close fight. I, I don't see how the judges could have it any other way. You know, it absolutely is. I know that sounds, it doesn't make sense a lot of times to say, hey, well, how could a guy be so far behind in rounds? It's still a very competitive fight because there's a, 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 many of the rounds are close. But. All right, we're back. Nick Charles, Steve Farhood, Antonio Tarver. We're in Chicago. Chicago native Don George undefeated in black against Osamano Adama from Ghana. A single loss. His only loss coming here in the United States. And now Don George's Chicago crowd getting behind him. They want to see him start closing the show. And as Steve mentioned earlier, the sixth is as far as George has ever been. And now he's putting his shots together, and Adama walked into some. And now they're inside, and let's see who does some work. They both hold it. Nobody. That's it. And it's been that way, and it's falling into a familiar pattern. Low blow from Adama there. There you go. Body shots, look at this. Something yeah. new. And an uppercut from Adama. And now George is inside, he's leaning in. And Adama could catch him if he would back up a half step like that. I'll tell you what, uh, Steve, you said earlier that uh, that Peter George was cool, calm, and relaxed between the rounds. If he have another close round like he did before, we're <laughs> going to see if he's going to get excited over there. <laughs> Adama having a good round here in the sixth. His energy level has been fantastic. There. Watch those hands. All right, so punch adjustments there, for George. What does he need right now? 
Well, I definitely think he needs to continue to work to the body, something that he hasn't done throughout the fight. And he has to rely on his combination. Right now, he's just loading up with a one-two, but he got to put three and four punches together. And back his man up, because the guy who throws more shots is going to win this fight. Now they're both inside, and George unleashed a couple of good shots, and Osama comes back with some. Adama, I should say. No, but the president was fighting. No, <laughs> well, we're in Chicago, so close. Oh, they exchange good good hooks and then a nice right hand from Adama. Don George has the letters B O M B tattooed on no, his right knuckles of his no, right no, fist. No, no, he may need one of those shots to take control of this fight. He's broken his right hand twice, actually, in his brief career. It just, it just seems like Adama won't let George take the play. I mean, he takes punch, he comes right back. He's made every round, most every round close. Well, the George seems to have found a new weapon to right uppercuts this round. And again, George is the much bigger guy. Adama has fought junior middleweight and middleweight much of his career. No, no, but George no, no. is not the meaner guy inside, like here. No, no. Come back. A much better round for Osamano Adama. Actually, from round six, Nick asked about adjustments. Well, that's something we hadn't seen in the previous five rounds, a right uppercut at close range from George. And he used it once more in the round. And there's an overhand right in the left hook, putting his punches together, but he's wide open to be hit. Adama took advantage of it. That's why whoever throws more shots with bad attention is probably going to win the fight. Did you give the rounds to Very, very close round. I gave it to George. Very close, though. Well, you got a, absolutely a wide margin where Obama would need a knockout, huh? No, I have 57 57. Wow. He snuck some in there. I didn't realize. Yeah, I gave Obama <laughs> two, three, and four. Obama's on the jab now. Interesting strategy in for threatening to stop the fight. <laughs> Antonio? I, I think he's trying to uh, put, a little yes, bit scare. Of, yeah, put a little panic yeah, on this fighter. Light up light the torch. But I don't like the strategy of the motivation. The other guy saying the other guy's going to get tired because you can't bank on that. Yeah, we got one more round in this fight, and this guy doesn't seem like he's getting tired. It seems like he's getting motivated, and he has all the confidence in himself right now. I see more slapping now from Adama. He's still punching a lot, but he's slapping. George has more on his shot. Yeah, George was more effective inside there. George winging some wild shots. Adama's going to try to get on that jab and box a little bit more. He's got to get busier, and that's what he's trying. George walking in, looking for that big shot, maybe go to the body. And here, instead of fighting out of the clinch, they allow themselves to be broken. Wild shot from George. He's in the black, coming on. Now they're inside again. Maybe a little fatigue setting in here. Step back, step back. It seems as if Adama's work rate right now is slowing a little bit. There he is on the jab again, trying to stick it. He evades a shot, tries to come back, but George takes those on the gloves. George walking forward. Adama is retreating, trying to get in that little dipsy doo and land that left hand. No punch, no punch. And run him into the right. And Nick, you just said something that could be key. Uh, uh, George walking forward, where the judges reward him for that. Of course, it's supposed to be effective aggressiveness. So he's backing his man up now. I like Adama, though. He's been slick with his little defense. He hasn't been a target for everything. He has his head movement working just like his trainer advised him to. And he had his moments, like, as Steve said, two, three, and four. You know, he rocked a George pretty good. But he is a smaller guy, and he's got to outbox him big time these last, uh, really, three and a half minutes to have any kind of a shot here in Chicago. Oh, one hand, and down goes George. Four, five, six, seven, eight. How you feel? You all right? Come here. That could put 
this one away. Boy, George, the last guy punching. A tail end right hand is what put Adama down. First knockdown of the fight, end of seven. Nice try, look at his up, Donald. Okay? Get away. Bang. Okay? Use that jab. Use that jab. Go down to the body. Donald, your hands are down. This is the last round. You're getting sloppy on me. Okay? Okay? Step closer. Last round, baby. Action from round seven. Right hand by George. Could be pivotal. It came late. It was nice. A sweeping shot. Dom has been there for that punch. That's pretty brutal. And that's a 10-8 round for George when he needed it the most in a tight fight on my card. And a two-point round this late in the fight in only an eight-round fight. And Absolutely would be pivotal. And what I like so much, Steve, is that he got nasty. You know, he refused to let the referee break him. He kept punching, and he was the last guy punching, and he drops the guy that way. Yeah, and Adama was going backwards, didn't have his balance on him. But uh, great for George. Stayed in there, he landed a shot that was right on the kisser, and uh, that won him the round, possibly won him the fight. Yeah, I think it's comfortable now for George, so what can Adamo do? He's had George thinking twice, one or two times in this fight, but his power doesn't seem to be there, so he needs a perfect shot to win this fight with two and a half minutes to go. He's going for it, though. Now here they are in the clinch again. No punch, no punch, step back, watch your hands. It's interesting, I'd say Adama punched himself out early, and I don't mean that he didn't keep punching, but the power was missing in the later rounds. I don't know how much sheer power he has. It doesn't really seem like he can generate much of it. But I mean, you win on points, but he's gonna need a big oh, punch right now. Look at this, go southpaw. George, he got hit with something here. As he backed off, but Adama, can he sense that he had his man hurt? But maybe it's hard to see, but that didn't look like a real clean shot. No, no, I didn't think so at all. It may be fatigue as much as getting hit. Yeah, it doesn't look great. It doesn't look good when, when George just falls back to the ropes like that. He needs to circle, give his, you know, move around, stay on his feet. Don't just fall back with both feet parallel. Doesn't look good. Well, we got a minute and a half to go here. And George should regroup. Adama's got to go for it all the way. He's been dropped in the last round. And he needs some multiple knockdowns here to win this fight, it would seem. As he rocks back into a neutral corner. George looks tired. It's like all of a sudden the tank is empty. Yeah, exactly. What a great comeback round for Adama, being that he spent the latter part of round seven on his butt. But he's going to run out of clock, Punch isn't it? Well, we really don't know. A lot of those rounds was very close. I mean, we have to see how the judges score. But George doesn't look all that fresh right now. He's never been past six, and it's showing now as we're in the eighth and final. But he's full of fight now, winning power shots. And he's forgotten about the jab and setting up anything. Half a minute to go as we'll watch it. Let's see if they battle to the end. A lot of clinching now and a lot of fatigue. Punch out of there. Punch out. Your hands are free. Punch. on their feet here in Chicago. Eight pretty intense rounds. Lots of missing, but these guys never stop trying at both ends. Don George unbeaten dropped Osamano Adama in the seventh round, and that 10-8 round will loom large on the cards. And Nick, one thing about George, you know, there were holes in his game, clearly. He didn't punch the body enough. He got hit an awful lot. He couldn't counterpunch. But for a fighter who had scored 17 KOs and 19 wins, this fight was the type of fight that he needed to prove he could win. 
Yeah, I think he did, you know, because the guy didn't go. Yep. He, he put him on his on, on his butt and he didn't finish him. And he's used to finishing guys. Right. So this was, in that sense, Don George was very impressive. Yes, he was. I mean, he did not uh, lose mental focus. You know, he stayed in the fight, kept trying to get the big knockout. But uh, he knows that he needs to get back in the gym. There's some things that he needs to work on, that body work. And also, he got to stay in the fight. He just can't relax and just go back to the rope. It doesn't look good. Exactly, Antonio. That, that was the biggest problem he had is when Adama was punching, George wasn't doing anything right. except, except catching punch. And uh, that knockdown, again, could be the big difference for Don George. It came in the seventh. And here it is, and what you're going to see is that Adama's hands were down. Adama actually was trying to hold on at that point. And Nick called it exactly the way it was. George wouldn't let the Ghanaian hold on. Watch him reaching to try to hold on right here. He missed the right hand. Now he's trying to hold. And George backed him up and dropped him with a, a crisp, wide, kind of a wide right hand, but right on the button. Right on the button, but both feet was parallel. He had no balance. And when you... When you that all balance, anything can put you down. Well, I think it's close. On my part, it's close. How'd you have it? 76 75 for George. Well, the knockdown being the difference, but let's get the official word from ring announcer Tom Driver. Ladies and gentlemen, after eight rounds of boxing, we go to the judges' scorecards. Judge Bulmaro Campuzano Jr. scores it 79 to 72. Judge Jerry Jacobko scores it 76 to 75. And Judge Mauro Di Fiore scores it 77 to 74. All in favor of your winner by unanimous decision from Chicago. Donovan George, easily the toughest test of his career.